Hey you guys, it's Miss Jeannie, your SLP here. Sadly, I'm at home because I'm very sick and I was thinking, I can't leave the house and I can't see you, I'm really bored. So I figured today we can read a book together and this particular book is called, Would You Rather Be a Bullfrog? That's the title of the book and it's by Theo Lesig. I'm guessing on how to pronounce that last name but the author is the person who writes the book and his name is, I'm guessing, Theo Lesig. It's illustrated by Roy McKee. So when we say illustrated by, that means that all the pictures that we see in the book as we go through, that this person drew them, Roy McKee, the illustrator. So title, author, illustrator, okay? Would you rather be a, a bullfrog? Let's see what this one's about. I've never read it before. I found it in my stash and I really would like to share it with you. All right, let's see. Tell me, would you rather be a dog or be a cat? It's time for you to think about important things like that. Dog or be a cat. It's actually kind of interesting if you can see this dog has spots, like little red spots, boop, boop, boop. And this cat has little stripes, the lines that go across. Would you rather be a bullfrog or a butterfly? Which one would you rather be? Come on now, tell me why. I, th I think that I'd rather be a butterfly because I think that I'd rather fly up in the air and be able to see what's happening down. But then again, a bullfrog can jump, so I'm, I'm not sure. I think I'd rather be a butterfly. Did you know that in Spanish, butterfly is mariposa, mariposa. That is a big word you guys can practice together. Tell me, would you rather be a minnow or a whale? Hmm, a minnow or a whale. And tell me, would you rather be a hammer or a nail? Oh boy, okay, all right, there's a lot to unpack here. A minnow is this really little tiny small fish, and this is a whale. In Spanish, I love this word. This is another big word, ballena. Ballena, a whale. In this case, I think I'd rather be a whale because I don't want to be eaten. I think a small fish could be eaten, but a big whale can go really far and not be eaten by other fish. Now here it has a hammer. You know how we, we hammer things. And then this is a nail and a hammer hits a nail. So what would you rather be? I think I'd rather be the hammer. I don't want to be the nail being hit by a hammer. <laughs> These are really fun, fun things to think about. All right. Would you rather have a feather, like all these feathers here, or a bushy tail behind? Which would feel best on you? Come on, make up your mind, it says. Would you rather have a beautiful feather or a bushy tail? And I have to say, maybe the beautiful feather, I think. Some feathers, as plumas, I think that they would be really nice to have because feathers help birds fly. I'm not really sure what a bushy tail is gonna help me do, unsure. And would you rather be a cactus or a toadstool or a rose? And which would look the best on you, the long, or the short nose. Oh my goodness. Okay, there. Whoa. All right. So there's a prickly cactus, there's a toadstool, and there's a rose. And I have to say, I think that I would be a rose because it's really pretty. First of all, roses are very pretty. You can pluck them and give them to your mommy as a gift. Beautiful. And they smell kind of nice depending on who you are. I don't really actually like the smell of flowers, but I think they're very pretty. And then would I rather have a long nose or a short nose? I think I'm okay having a short nose like I have right now. Short nose wins. All right. Would you rather be skinny or would you rather be fat? Hmm. I'd rather be fat. <laughs> I'd rather be fat, I have to say, because that way... I can navigate my world in my own way and it appears like I like to eat and I do like to eat, so I'd rather be fat. Would you rather be a ball or would you rather be a bat? And once more, I'm gonna ask you, 
How about that dog and cat? So here again, here's a baseball bat, and here's a baseball, and what would you rather be? Would you rather be the bat or the ball? I think because the bat actually hits the ball, I think I'd rather be the bat, to be honest. But then we didn't even answer this question about whether we'd want to be the dog or the cat. <sighs> hmm. I'm going to say the cat. Because I used to have a cat named Schwartzy, and she was a black cat, and I loved her very dearly. She was one of my best friends. So maybe I'll say cat on that one. But let me know what you think. Think now. Would you rather be a rooster or a hen? Whoa. Whoa. How would you like to lay an egg every now and then? I eat eggs, so maybe I would like to be a hen so that I can make my own eggs and eat them. Would you rather be would you rather have big moose horns or small horns like a cow? Hmm. Big horns or small horns? Definitely the big horns. I love that. Oh, do you hear my clock? Whoop. Oh my goodness, that means it's 45 after or a quarter till the hour. Ooh, I love that clock. This is so, so important and I want you to know right now. So we want to know rooster or hen, big horns or small horns. And I think hen and big horns. Let me know what you think. Would you rather be a bluegle bird and fly around and sing a bluegle bird, what a name. Or would you rather be a bumblebee and fly around in stings? Boop. I would rather be a bumblebee because they're so cool. And they contain my favorite color, which you guys know my favorite color is yellow. And bumblebees have yellow. Although it looks like this bluegle bird has yellow in it too. I just don't know what a bluegle bird is. I'm, I'm gonna go with what I know and that's a bumblebee. And tell me, would you rather be a table or a chair? And now tell me, would you rather have green or purple hair? Oh my gosh, green or purple hair. Okay, let's unpack this now. I really like tables because tables are, it's something that you can sit at, you can put things on, you can actually eat food on the table, you can write on the table, you can, you know, as long as you have a piece of paper, you can, you know, uh, do artwork on the table, you can paint, you can do, you know, co color drawings with markers, with crayons, with colored pencils. You can cut things from paper at the table. Um, in a chair, you can sit on a chair you can sit on the chair. You can also push the chair under the table, but people would have to sit on you if you're a chair. Hmm. Hmm. I'm going to go with table. I would rather be a table. Now, would I rather have green hair or purple hair? That's the question. And I'm going to have to say, I think I'd rather have purple hair. I'd rather have purple hair because if I had green hair, I think my hair would look like grass, like the grass that you find outside, or it might look like the leaves on a tree. So I'm gonna go with purple. I'm, I'll go with purple. I think it's gonna be prettier. Oh, here's musical instruments. So would you rather be a clarinet, a trombone, or a drum? Right? So maybe a clarinet kind of sounds like and a trombone's like boom, 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 boom. and a drum we all know is like this. Yeah. How would you like to have someone going boom, boom, boom on your tum? I don't even know what that means, on your tum. This is an odd book, oddly written. I'm not entirely sure. But I think that I would rather be a clarinet because the clarinet has a much nicer sound. So this one up top is the clarinet. And I encourage you guys, like if you would like to go on YouTube and, and listen to some of these instruments. So here's a clarinet, a trombone, and a drum. And then you can hear the difference between them. Suppose you had to be a letter. Well then, 
which one would you be? Would you rather be a curly one like a J? Which actually, guys, my name starts with a J, Jeannie. So would you like it to be curly like a J or an S? An S for snake, for sandwich. See, I always go to food, sandwich. Or a G for garage, for gas, like you put gas in your car. Or would you rather be a Sharpie, like a sharp letter, like a K. Um, a K is for kite. Or a Z, Z for zebra. Or a V, V for vacuum. That's what we use to clean the floors, a vacuum. Hmm. Personally, I like J, but I already told you because that's the first letter in my name. So I like the J. But I also like S because a sandwich. Remember I said food? Yes sandwich too. Now tell me, would you rather be a window, oh my gosh, open, close, or a door? Open the door! Which one would you rather be, a window or a door? Um, okay, I think a window, because I can always open and close a door. I can always open and close a door. I can always go into a, a building for, with a door. I can always go out of a building. I can leave through a door. But a window's really cool because you can see out of the window. You can look outside. You can open it and you can close it just like a door. Can be opened and closed. And you know what? Emergency scenario, worst case scenario, I can climb out that window. So I would say I'd rather be a window so I can see outside and have access to come in and out. And would you have more fun if you had six feet, oh my gosh, six feet, or 164? <gasps> 164 feet? What? 164 feet? Oh dear. I'm gonna have to say I'd rather have six feet because let's be honest, let's say I had to wear shoes. I don't even know how I'd have time to put on or tie 164 shoes. So I'm just gonna go ahead and say that I'd rather have six, six feet. So that way, if I needed to wear shoes, I'd only have to worry about six shoes and not like this many, okay. These are real important questions. Come on, tell me, tell me, please. Would you rather be a soda or a piece of smelly cheese? <laughs> well, I say no to soda, because I feel like we should be drinking, even adults, just water, milk, or juice, right? You know, sometimes adults can have like tea or coffee, something like that, but I don't like soda, too much sugar. But stinky cheese, Ooh. oh. I don't, I don't know. I'm not sure. I think I'd rather be soda in this case, but really don't drink soda. Um, but stinky cheese, that's hilarious. Would you rather live in igloos like this one made of ice or would you rather live in a tent? And would you rather be a dollar bill or 97 cents? Oh my gosh, okay. In order to live in an igloo, it has to be really cold. So let's think about, I mean, you'd have to think, do you, would you rather be cold or here's a camel and they're living in a tent, you can see the sand here and the palm tree, that's the desert. So would you rather be cold or would you rather be hot? Oh dear. I think I'd rather be cold. Let's just be honest, I'm a New Yorker. I'd rather be cold than too hot. I'd rather put on layers and a jacket. You know when it's cold, you gotta put on a jacket and sometimes a scarf. I'd rather do that. I'd rather do that. And would you rather be a dollar bill or 97 cents? And I'm gonna be 100% honest with you, one dollar bill equals 100 cents, but this says only 97 cents, which means it's three cents less than the dollar bill, and it takes up way more space. Who wants to carry around 97 coins? when you can have just one dollar bill. So I'm gonna say a dollar bill. You let me know too. And would you rather be a mermaid with a tail instead of feet? Or, oh my gosh, what is, oh my gosh. Would you rather be a spook 
and run around dressed in a sheet. Oh my gosh, that's a ghost. This is another word that is really long in Spanish, and I'll say it for you so you guys can practice. Fantasma. Es un fantasma. Fantasma. Yeah, that's a ghost right there. Oh my gosh. So would I rather be a mermaid and swim in the water and look really pretty? Or would I rather be a ghost and go around scaring people? <laughs> I am such a stinker. I'd rather be the ghost. <laughs> would you rather be a jellyfish? Oh my gosh. This is another big word in Spanish. Una medusa. Medusa. This is a jellyfish. It's also a long word in English. Or a sawfish. Look at his beak. It's like it's it's like a it's a saw. I like to cut like a saw. So would I rather be a jellyfish, which does sting people, or would I rather be a sawfish, which we could like cut things, or a sardine? No, a sardine in a can. Yeah, no. Those. You know what? I actually have sardine cans in my pantry. Because I open that up and I eat that if I need a snack. <laughs> eat sardines. <laughs> and I grew up with that. My dad also does that. Um, so no, I don't want to be someone else's food. No, thank you. I don't necessarily want to cut things, but I like a jellyfish because if you look online and you look at pictures of jellyfish, they're so interesting looking. They have tentacles. When I was in Jamaica, one time I was visiting family, I was in Jamaica, and I was swimming. And apparently jellyfish are also called sea scratch there and so someone yelled sea scratch sea scratch and i didn't know what they were saying because they didn't say jellyfish so i got stung from head to toe by jellyfish and i thought it was a pretty interesting experience and they were they were cool so i would say i'd rather be a jellyfish and would you rather be this thing let's see which one is this one this thing or that or the thing that's in between, oh, in between, right here. Oh my goodness, okay, so this thing, that thing in between. I like this thing, and this thing is something I like because this thing is really tall and has a long neck, meaning they can see everything, right? It's harder for a shorter person here to see ahead. This person's blocking them, but this person's so tall they can see ahead. But if you notice, they're not seeing anything because their eyes are closed. That is so silly. Open your eyes. Open your eyes. Okay. Let's see. It's hard to make your mind up about important things like that. I can't even make my mind up about that dog and cat. Oh. But I hope you did. Look at this cat is winking. One of his eyes is closed. Wink. Oh, and they're super close friends. That's so sweet. I want to know what you think. Would you rather be the dog or the cat? There's so many things in here to think of. Now, when we're all done with the book, you know how it goes. We got to say the end and close the book. Slam it shut. Guys, this was Would You Rather Be a Bullfrog? And I hope you had a good time. I really miss you guys. I'll see you next week.